Well, a weekend fire destroyed a popular restaurant in East El Paso, and now its workers find themselves out of a job just days before Christmas. Tony's Burrito House had become a loved, uh, beloved site in the borderland, and now a relief fund has been created to help the employees who lost their source of income. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez joins us live from outside Tony's Burritos. And Rosemary, you spoke with the family. What are they telling you tonight? Well, Eric, they told me that they do have insurance. They had insurance, but as of right now, they don't know how much it'll cover. In the meantime, a relief fund was set up that will go directly to the employees. Many of them had been working here for decades. They're hoping that that relief fund will give them some hope this holiday season. But they have been become family because they have been here for so long. Helping out employees who lost their source of income after Tony's Burrito House burned down. Now the family seeks answers. Yes, uh, just just not knowing exactly what happened, just the, the many questions of why um, or how and not having answers to it. In the days since the fire, they've been able to go back and see what was lost. Once we were able to open the door and get a, a view from the inside, uh, it's a little bit of a closure for us, uh, try, trying to see the condition that is at. Uh, there's nothing uh, that is left. Everything uh, got consumed by the fire. The daughter of the owner tells me that her dad was getting ready to retire. He loved coming to work. He was ready to work that day. But when we saw it, how in the condition, how, how it was up in flames and the smoke, is when we realized that it was not going to be much left. What is left behind of the dining room and the front entrance? A pen, one of the items she found. And what else was lost was a tip jar, a year's worth. Uh, all the tips that we had for the end of the year, they were in there, so I'm sure they were lost too. Uh, I don't know the exact amount of dollar amounts, but all the tips were lost. Uh, a family is thankful they were unharmed, but in the midst, a menu sign still stands. So people are telling me, where are we going to get our menudo? Where are we going to get our burrito fix? And an official with El Paso Fire tells me that the cause of the fire has not yet been determined. The daughter of the owner tells me that they're still trying to figure out how they'll best move forward with the business. But if you at home want to donate, you can head over to our website, kvia.com, and you'll find that link. Reporting from the east side, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7. All right, Rosemary.